So the saddle push here with two pieces of four inch timber. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a cutting list. Um, just cut this into several pieces, but we're gonna put a defect in one of the bits of timber. So you can see how the machine reads the defect um, and works around it using the optimization software. So this is your optimizing data. You can have the length of each piece you want to cut in here, the number of pieces you want to cut. This is the number of pieces that have been cut. If you have a print code or an ejector for the, for the waste, you can add codes into here that can be printed onto each piece of timber and which number of ejector you want to send the waste to. If you put in a value, you can optimize the list by the value or you can optimize it by the length. So if we start here, put in our lengths that we want, 600 millimeters, five of them, 500 millimeters, four of them, and 400 millimeters, three of them. We can also then simulate the board. So this is our board up here that gets measured by the pusher. So if we have the simulation mode on, can optimize execution, confirm, press the start button. This then tells us up here what we're gonna cut out of that board. If you then find any defects in the timber, you can mark them with the fluorescent crayon that comes with it. It will then change the board to cut out that defect in the middle. So we've got these lists? Yep. So down here you've got different lists for different qualities. What you can do is input a size in here and then when you mark the timber with two lines close together, that's the start of quality list number two. Right. One line is now the end of that. So out of this piece of timber, it will cut out yeah. quality two. If you have three lines close together, that will be quality list number three, end of quality list number three. So in quality two, you put 100 mil lengths and quality three fifty mil lengths, and it will just yeah. So what are these other functions here on the left? So you've got the optimizing data up here. So this is our list that we're currently in. Down here is the parameters for that list. So you can put the minimum percentage of wastage where to eject the pieces to, if the waste exceeds a certain size, do a certain thing to it. If you go in here, this is fixed cuts. So this will just cut as many repetitions of whatever length that you want in there without optimizing it through the board. So this will just be in the case if you want one meter lengths and you want 500 of them, regardless of what the board is like, it will cut them. And then this is the parameters for the fixed cuts. So this is the program parameters. So this is everything. So the speed of the pusher, the length of the trim waste, whether you're optimizing it by length or value, you can do macros where you can eliminate the cut if the pieces are less than 250 or greater than 250. So it will join those pieces together. <coughs> Shattering if the waste exceeds a certain size. So that will break down this 126 mil piece into 50 mil pieces if you wish. Uh, and then all the other system parameters are in here as well. So you can optimize the program best to best suit you. This is if you have ejectors for the waste. This is for when you're cutting, sim for, for the cutting simulation, you can, you can mark down a fixed size of board, fixed width. And then this is the most recent data for what you've cut. If you press play, this will start. Either you can choose your optimized list or just fixed cut lists. Pause and stop your program. And then this will be going into your simulation mode here. 
where you can set a board size and run a simulation on board that size. This is to turn simulation mode on and off, so you can run the pusher without the saw being started, and this is the menu to turn the machine on and off. Okay, so now we're gonna run our optimized list. We're gonna start the motors. We'll turn automatic mode on for the gravity feed, so it will continuously run. Start the motors. Press the play button. Start to run the optimized execution. Between these lines here is quality two, between these lines here is quality three, everything else is quality one. So in our quality one list we've got lengths of 600, 500 and 400. There's a 400 piece there, 500 piece there, five and five there. If I go into quality two, this was dictated by the fluorescent crayon. So quality two was lengths at 100 mil and then quality three was lengths of 50 mil. And then anything else that is red here is just marked as waste which couldn't be cut out. <laughs> 